Absolutely. So, welcome to our show. May you please tell our audience who you are? Yes, we are a three-piece from Southern California by the name of Corpus. Yeah, it's been a little while since we had you on the show. Can you catch the viewers up with any upcoming projects or what you've been doing? Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. So, um, pretty soon we're going to be taking a break from shows and uh, working on a new album. And um, right now, we're just kind of trying to figure out where we're going to record it and uh, get some new artwork for some merch, come up with an album title, and so we got some pretty good shit coming up. Yeah, and uh, we got some shows coming up. We have one next week in Riverside for all the Riverside homies. You guys pull through. A local brewery in Marietta, we're playing their anniversary, three-year anniversary, Solaris, um, towards the end of the month. That one's going to pop off. Definitely Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's about that's about all we've got. I don't know. You guys keep your eyes out for that Twitter show. Yes, you guys. Yeah, writing new music too. Definitely uh, something we need to do to finish the album. So yeah, we're super super stoked. We'll be playing some new songs tonight too. So. So this new album, can you describe the sound you guys are going for? Maybe just the sound of your band in general. Um. Yeah. That's always kind of a hard question to answer, but uh, I would say it's like a mix of rock, metal, and thrash with a little blackened rock kind of vibe. Yeah, it's it's honestly it's a mix of cool it's a mix of cool shit. But you make it your own and you make it cool and heavy. Exactly. We get asked that question and we never really know how to answer it. <laughs> it's like so. It's all up into the interpretation, right? For sure. It's like a blackened rock and roll with a little bit of thrash in it. That's that's what I'm going to go with right now. Yeah, my <laughs> is, uh, Hell yeah. I hope, yeah. No, what about some of the people who inspired y'all? Ooh, I think we could all speak on this one. Um, Celtic Frost definitely inspires me, um, all of us, I would say. Um, Merciful Fate, Danzig. Carpathian Forest, Carpathian Forest Slayer, Slayer, Motorhead, Motorhead, definitely Midnight. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? And horror movies, movies <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah. Horror yeah. Movies. yeah, definitely. I, I definitely yeah. have a little heart for horror, so. Yeah. Yep. As you can Still see. Fuck yeah, dude. We we try to incorporate some horror aspects into our music, into our flyers. This guy does a lot of our flyers and very creative uh, with the pen and pad. So, yeah, those. We could talk about this for probably an hour or two, but, uh, <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, but uh, those are just, to keep it short, just a few there. Yeah. So you got an artist beyond the art he already makes for the band. Oh, hell yeah, dude. A lot of our flyers are made from this guy, and they fucking kick ass. Hey, whether it's a guitar or a pen, that's fucking awesome. Fuck yeah. Now, as a band, what are some of the favorite shows you've done together? Ooh, I love that question. Um... Fuck, the last show we just did. I was going to yeah. say, we just <laughs> we just played Hello Kitty Goth Night in um, yeah. in Riverside Two weeks ago, maybe? by uh, Surf Productions and, and 951 Backyards. They were the ones that hosted it. They invited us, which was really cool. Um, the Witch Haven show was that show just fucking went nuts. People were singing our songs, which I love to see. Uh, we played a show in 2022 on December 30th with Witch Haven and uh, Haunter. A bunch of cool fucking bands. That that was at Bricks Bar in L.A. That fucking just, that, that went nuts. Probably one of the coolest shows we've ever played. And, um... Honestly, shout out the Cowshed show, too. I love that. <laughs> fucking Cowshed. <laughs> yeah, we played this random, like, fucking little bar in San Marcos, and we didn't know anybody. We were still pretty new, but it was, that was a pretty epic show. We, we blew the roof off that one. That one was fun. Sometimes the smaller ones are the ones you go off the most. Hell yeah. Um, another one I want to add, rest in peace, Jesse Carrillo, yeah. but, uh, one of our boys just recently passed away, and, uh, on January 27th, we played a really cool Hemet, uh, benefit show for him, so that was, that was great, yeah, got to support and raise some money, that was awesome. I'm glad to hear for that, and may he rest in power. Our boy. So, moving on yeah. for tonight, out of all the bands you're playing, is there anyone you're excited to see? Oh, yeah. Lord Mars. Yeah. Lord Mars. Yeah, those are the boys. Shout out Lord Mars. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Definitely excited to see the homies. Uh, trip to the morgue. Tornadic. Um, yeah. Uh, what's another one? Pythagoras, I think, is another one. I've checked out some of their stuff. So, yeah. Fucking really excited. It's going to be fun. So you're kind of friends and fans of all the band playing tonight? Yeah. And maybe, you know, as we check out some of the bands, maybe become fans on some of the stuff we haven't heard. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's all about building that community, right? 100%. And speaking of community, if you were to make it past all the U.S. battles and make it all the way to Germany, what would be the first thing you'd do in Bakken? Drink, Drink beer. beer. <laughs> 100%. Get drunk. 100%. Maybe get a pretzel, too. I don't know. Yeah. food's pretty gnarly out there. Some good sausage. I would get a sausage and some good beer and uh, maybe try and find some weed. And uh, <laughs> hang out with some European homies. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Your corpus, you're in Germany, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> 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 I think so. I think so. We yeah. Have yeah. Germany, have these boys out there. Deutschland. <laughs> Deutschland. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out Deutschland. So, for anyone starting a band or new to the community, do you have any advice for anyone up and coming? Uh, yeah. Fucking... Go to shows because you can network with people and meet some pretty cool people just by going to shows. Um, practice. Fucking take your time. Fucking write some good quality shit that you're going to feel comfortable performing. and um, Find solid friends, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Find, find a crew that's going to stick together and you're not going to have five fucking different drummers and no bass player and and bullshit like that, you know. You hear of lineup changes happening all the time, and, um, yeah, Corpus wouldn't be what it is without the three of us, and we tend to keep it that way, and, uh, so, yeah, that's just a few few words of advice. Well, I'd say carve your own path, too. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just jump on what everybody else does already, you know, just carve your own path and figure out what sounds different, sets you aside from everybody. Yep. Find your community and make it yours. Yep. Right. Yep. Some wise words there. Now, any other up and coming projects or just the shows you listed earlier? Um, I would say just the biggest project coming up is working on our album. Um, I have one. The Summer Torment show in June. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's gonna be fucking balls to the wall. Summer Torment. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, that's that's a really good one. So uh our homie Isaiah and myself, mainly him right now, is organizing a show uh, called Summer Torment. Uh, it's going to be on June 22nd at Solaire's Brewing in Marietta. So uh, really looking forward to that. There's going to be some rad bands. Um, there's a band from coming from Mexico called Age of Darkness. It'll be their first... <laughs> hell yeah, dude. It'll be, it'll be their first time. Uh, band Joel is playing. Uh, we've got DMV Punchathon. Shout out to the homie Aaron, and uh, yeah, man. Oh, the the homies Chaotics. The Chaotics will be playing. They kicked yeah. ass at the battle. Fuck yeah, right. those are our boys. Hell yeah, those are the boys. So super pumped for that, and uh, working on our album and playing a couple shows here and there. All right. Well, lastly but not leastly, could you list out your social media and where we can find your music? Sure. Yeah. Corpus dot culeros on Instagram. Uh, you could find us on Spotify. Apple Music is kind of a bitch because there's other Corpus bands on there that we get mixed in with. So sorry if you got iTunes and Apple Music, but uh, yeah, we've got a couple. We just got two albums out: Death Sequence and Beyond the Grave. And soon we'll have one more. So yeah. You heard it here first, folks. And remember. Stay brutal. Stay corpus, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yow. Right. Thank you guys so oh, that's that's how that's how I'm gonna end it with a yow.
and your band? Uh, my name is Andy. Uh, we are Pythagoras. I am Dylan, the drummer. My name is Etienne, the bassist. I'm Ian, one of the guitarists. My name is Juan, the other guitarist. And would you give a brief history of your band? Have the back. The newest guy. Yeah. Uh, when did we start? 2016? I want to say so. Yeah. I think uh, Tian's one of the original members. I, I pretty much, I don't know, went out and started the band. Tian joined uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, we had a different drummer initially, and then... Uh, it was funny because, yeah, when the drummer, uh, other drummer we had, we were trying out Andy as a vocalist, and, you know, it's still kind of in the the phase where it's like, should we go with this cat? And then, yeah, you know, everything worked out well. So I guess, you know, when you first start trying out, you get kind of nervous, so you don't quite show all your cards, you know, but yeah. Yeah, and then shortly after that, uh, our, dr our drummer, current drummer now, Dylan, joined the band. And then uh, eventually Juan joined the band. We had a long search for a second guitarist. Uh, yeah. We had a hard time finding a, a guitarist that could play our riffs because they're they're pretty difficult to play. Yeah, they have their they're definitely their uh, their certain picking yeah. pattern. It's yeah. Not yeah, not your typical. It's a lot of alternate stuff. picking and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, a long quest for the one who picks right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, we went through prop what like five or six or seven different potential guitarists yeah. one of which stuck around for a little while yeah. uh, Tony he was Tony, in, yeah. in the band for a minute but uh, he, he didn't really have time because he, he was finishing up a degree and uh, yeah. engineering degree like yeah. I was life. like I got yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but for your band how would you guys best describe your sound or perhaps your style oh geez uh, kind of, it's kind of a mixture of a lot of subgenres. Yeah. I could say there's like some elements of like brutal death metal. There's like some tech death, like technical death metal elements in there for sure. Um, and occasionally there will be like a riff here and there that sounds kind of like hardcore or uh, like thrash or something like that. But yeah. I'd say the main ingredient is like brutal death metal and technical death metal. Yeah, as long as it's brutal and yeah. heavy, right? Right. That's, all that <laughs> That's right. All right. Well. Any particular band? Anyone in particular? I think we all like Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Corpse There's yeah. a you know Necrophagist, uh, uh, Allegion, Archspire, uh, bands like that. Huh? Yeah. DSI. Yeah, DSI. Yeah. Uh, Blood Red Throne yeah. is another one. Blood Red Throne's a good one. Uh, just a lot of bands like that, like similar bands. Yeah. Now, for you guys as a band together, what was your favorite show you wanted? Ooh, the 1720 for me. Yeah, it was a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah, definitely the 1720 was, uh, you know, uh, definitely a a good transition of what we're trying to do as far as play bigger bigger shows and whatnot. Yeah. We played a really sick uh, house party in uh, San Diego once at this house. They had a, oh, a big good. ass backyard and it had like a huge half pipe that took yeah, up like the whole backyard. And uh, we ended up setting up in the living room. The bands were playing in the living room. And they started pitting during our set. They got all excited and started pitting. And uh, someone ended up going through a window, yeah. like it, like in the living room, like it got <laughs> smashed out. And uh, yeah. by the yeah, by the end of the set, our set, there was one less window in the living room. That no respect <laughs> <laughs> for the bands here tonight for the Santa Ana battles. Is there anyone you're excited to see? Dark Insanity. Yeah, Dark yeah. Insanity. Yeah. So I'm hearing you guys are more excited for all the competition here tonight. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's always awesome. A nice, strong community we got yeah. here. Now, if you were to make it past these battles, so uh, make it all the way out to Balkan, yeah. what would be the first thing you do in Germany? Yeah. Want to try some authentic German Belgium chocolate? I, I, cause it's good over here, the Belgian chocolate, but I want to try it straight out of the chocolate fountain. However, chocolate gets made, I don't know. They got milk chocolate here down there. Well, now you got it. <laughs> well, that's all I want to do is try the fucking chocolate. Sue me. <laughs> oh, I love baby metal. And that's and that's real. That's true. 
fan or any up and coming bands. Do you guys have any advice for them? Don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> my advice would be something that I used to think was very dumb when I was a kid, and I just thought all the best players play together. And then I realized that no chemistry is the thing. You want to be able to gel with them because you're going to see them a lot. Um, so make sure you vibe with them. And I think that would be the biggest thing. That would probably be the biggest thing, the vibe. Yeah. Everything else, like, if they're not that good but they try really hard, you know, then we'll give them a chance. And if they're, if they're really good but, they don't, but the vibe isn't there, then maybe that's not the, the right fit. A little bit of a Venn diagram of it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Venn diagram. Yeah. <laughs> Go to war with your homies, yeah. I guess. <laughs> All right. Is there any up-and-coming projects, anything you guys want to announce, share with the fans here tonight? We don't really have too much uh, as of now. We might be playing in Chicago in June. Yeah, it's a, we, got, we have a possible uh, Cryptopsy show in June yeah. uh, in Chicago, but it's still, it, it's still, yeah. still a maybe. Um, Uh, a lot, a lot of the festivals are uh, are pay to play now, unless you're signed to a label. Uh, we had an opportunity to play he- uh, Hell and Heaven Fest in Mexico uh, this year, but the entry entry fee is twelve hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So Which for an up and coming band, that's kind of a lot. Yeah, and like, I just finished an engineering degree and I have a better job now, so I can afford stuff like that uh, now. But we already are focused on the show in Chicago and getting everyone flown out there to Chicago to open to potentially open for Cryptopsy in June. So we're going to do that first. And then uh, our, our booking agent, uh, Tim, at uh, Death by Music, he's uh, working to get us in some festivals, probably some smaller festivals. Uh, there's a festival, I think, coming up in Vegas. I'm not, I don't remember what it's called. And then possibly another one in Missouri at, like later on in the year. And then uh, for 2025, we're going to focus on like trying to get into like actually save up the money for the entry fee for like Hell and Heaven Fest in Mexico. Uh, what was that one that was um, t- and full? Uh, was it Full Terror Assault? Yeah, Full Terror Assault. That, yeah. yeah, I think Full Terror Assault. Like we were thinking about that one, but I think they wanted like seven or eight hundred bucks, and we're like, well, we're already committed to the possible Cryptopsy show in Chicago, and like, you know, f- we're going to be flying everyone out. Mm-hmm. It's going to be probably more than twelve hundred bucks mm-hmm. just to do that in the hotel and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. always more than just one cost. Yeah. 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 yeah, and we're not signed, so it's like you know we're. Th- we're having to scrape together the money yeah, ourselves right. to do this. We buy merch, people, yeah. please. Yeah, we got our uh, Boschfield surgery, our 12-inch. Uh, we got 12-inch 12, 12 vinyls pressed. We have some here. We got CDs. Uh, we got T-shirts. And new T-shirts. Yeah, new T-shirts. Stickers, stickers, everything. everything. Yep. So, uh, and, you know, we had to we had to pay for all that too. Like pressing vinyl is expensive, and uh, you know, a huge chunk of my student loans has gone to like production and like paying for vinyls to get pressed and merch and stuff like that. So now I'm like thirty thousand dollars in student debt, but. Uh, but it was worth we it. have merch, yeah. though. So. It was worth it. <laughs> we have merch? Check that shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, can you share any social media where we can find your music and just anywhere our fans can see you? Yeah, uh, I believe all our social media tags are uh, on, on Facebook and uh, Instagram are Pythagoras Band 1. Don't forget TikTok. Oh, yeah, and TikTok uh, as well, Pythagoras Band 1. Yep. And uh, I think Pythagoras.metal at gmail.com is the account associated with our uh, YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And then we have a link tree, a Pythagoras band one link tree. Is that right, Andy? Yeah. yeah. Yep, Pythag- it has all. Link tree has all of our fucking shit. So, yeah, if you guys just uh, go to like link tree slash Pythagoras band one, then you'll find pretty much everything. Yeah, it, it, that's probably the easiest way to find everything. The tree has the links, everyone. <laughs>
whole show, can you remind all the viewers who you are? Trip to the morgue. Can you give us a brief history of your band? A brief history is we just turned 14 years old. Band's been through a few changes here and there. We got the badass lineup right now. That's a brief history. All right. These badass motherfuckers in front of you, everyone. So, <laughs> can you describe the sound these badasses make? Fucking heavy, tight, loud, fucking extreme. Uh, it's, uh, I would describe it as a crossover between a little bit of punk, a little bit of grindcore, metal, thrash, you know? Some heavy shit. Metal, thrash, grindcore, fast, punk. Keep it heavy, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Some thrash, some chugs, a little bit of breakdowns, and some blast beats for flavor. All the good things to have to a uh, hefty metalhead eating cornmeal. That's right. Absolutely. Now, would you have anyone you say inspires said sound? Any artist, maybe? Yes. Um, fucking Slayer! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you gotta go old school, because uh, we're, we got that old school sound, so uh, I'm gonna say Slayer, Exodus, Celtic Frost, uh, you know, uh, Voivod, fucking Napalm Death, uh, yeah, I mean, all the heavy, old, heavy oh, shit, all yeah. the heavy, all the heavy old shit. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. So, as a band together, what's your favorite show you guys done? Last week, I would say so. Yeah, that was a good. Show. Maybe the week before. Long the week Beach. before was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the last two shows, because because Patrick's energy. our new guitar player, so. Yeah. It's going to be my uh, third show. This is third show with us. Four weeks. Yeah. Damn. With the band, yeah. So, I'm is. really lucky. Really popping off of these boys. That's right, for sure. <laughs> so, are you familiar with any of the bands playing tonight? Are you excited to see any of them? Maybe a bit intimidated? No, I'm excited to play with them. Um, I know Tornadic. Um, I know uh, the guitar player and his dad really well. I met them at NAMM a while back. But I've heard of the others. I just never played with them or saw them live. Ah, so this is going to be like your first time. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, for sure. It's going to be fun. Oh, most definitely. Tonight's going to be a memorable night. For sure. All right, so is there, uh, if you were to make it past the battles, make it all the way to Germany, what would be the first thing you do in Bakken? Fucking hookers and blow, man. What are you doing in Germany? Fuck. <laughs> and like Fucking party like a rock star, baby. <laughs> Come on, I mean, brats, it's on the bucket list. beer, man. You gotta get fucking brats, brats and beer. Here, <laughs> midgets, midgets. I also have yeah. a bunch of family in Munich, so I'd probably try and connect with them. Oh, that's very wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. Always secret here for the wholesome <laughs> moment. <laughs> Germany, man, that would be that'd just be badass. Now, uh, for anyone starting a band or uh, just any new bands in general, do you have any advice? For them? Lots of practice and don't ever give up. Yeah. I would say uh, the biggest thing for me that I tell people is get your ass out and play. Don't stay in the bedroom all your life and just practice. Get out and fucking play with people. That's yeah. the most important thing. Get over your stage fright. Get used to playing in front of people and get used to drawing energy from the crowd. I, I would say just do your homework, man. Uh, don't fixate on one thing like your band's music. Also practice. Practice scales, practice everything to make you a better, better musician. That's all, what I got to say. Yeah, the better you are individually, the better you're going to be collectively. You know, not to mention, you're going to want a recording, and don't don't just go to the first person you meet. Like, get a good recording out because you want to you want that to be the best you sound. You yeah. know, so if somebody doesn't know who you are and then they look you up and they hear your recording, they've only seen you once live. They're going to remember that recording. So if it's shit, they're going to think you're shit. You know. Yes. Practice, 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 like and do your research on who you're working with, I guess. There right? it is, there For it sure. is. All right, so, any up-and-coming projects, anything you would want to announce out to the Fuck viewers? yeah, we got a new record coming out. We got a uh, a new single hitting Monday, um, and uh, that is featuring the guitar player from Napalm Death, Mitch Harris, on vocals. So look for that on all streaming sites. Did that sound like totally choreographed or what? <laughs> this is all pre-planned out. None of this is in the moment. We, we're total professionals. We didn't just grab you off scripted the street. Scripted as fuck. Scripted as fuck. Man. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, look for the new single, Dig in Your Fucking Grave. It's not Dig in Your Fucking Grave, but I have to put that fucking in there. Dig in Your Grave with Mitch Harris from Napalm Death coming out on Monday.
Sounds like some brutal shit. And where can we find these again? Can you list out all your social media? Um, Instagram, but, Spotify, God, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Spotify, Twitter, like, what else are we on? Apple Music. Do we have a Twitter? I'm sure we have a Twitter. Yeah, oh, Apple sorry, Music, X Spotify. Now. Nobody uses uh, Twitter, though. Yeah. Google Trip Play, we can get us on Google Play. Um, you know, all over, all, all streaming sites, man. All those MySpace, Pornhub, yep. <laughs> porn <laughs> <hub>, yeah. <laughs> to chicka <laughs> wow, wow, chicka chicka wow. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are at stages with the morgue. Stay brutal. Oh, God. Trip to the government morgue. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Fuck yeah, dude.